this is the fourth section of the Poisson distribution uh, chapter and we're going to be looking at the mean and variance of a Poisson distribution so now you should be able to work out the mean and variance the standard deviation from um, a table of data and uh, we also need to know what the mean and variance of a Poisson distribution is so maybe it might be worth um, just recapping if we've got like discrete data um, or continuous data we want to find the mean so remember the mean is the sum of f let's say we're doing it from a frequency table so the sum of fx over the sum of f and the um, variance is going to be well it's this mean um, or oh, actually let's just correct that that's the second bit so yeah it's the sum of um, the data squared so you square the data and you find the mean of that and then you subtract the mean squared so that mean squared is basically this thing down here okay so that's with discrete data now with a Poisson distribution it's even easier so uh, with a Poisson distribution the rate lambda equals the mean equals the variance how easy is that they're all the same now um, there's some stuff written up here um, but basically the way that we write the mean we can write the mean as e of x we say e of x so that's just lambda and the variance we can write as var x which is also lambda so previously you've seen the mean here written as uh, maybe mu this three letter mu or you may x bar if it's a sample and the variance here we would have seen written as uh, sigma squared or you may have seen it like this s squared if it's a sample uh, that you're working out the variance of and what we need to do is just to work out problems uh, where maybe we need to work out the mean and variance of a, a Poisson distribution but it's, it's very easy as you can see they're all the same right so botanist counts the number of daisies x in each of 80 randomly selected squares in a within a field the results are summarized below okay that makes things a bit easy for us we don't have to add these 80 numbers together um, or square the 80 numbers then add them together that's done for us so part a calculate the mean and variance of the daisies uh, per square for the 80 squares giving your answer to two decimal places okay so this is just basically working out stuff that we we've done before in uh, normal maths now since this is um, a sample of daisies it's not every single one strictly speaking we should use x bar rather than mu the mu symbol because it's a sample okay because it's only 80 randomly selected squares it wasn't every single square so we're going to use x bar and that is uh, going to be the sum of all the values divided by the number of values so in this question the sum of all the values is 295 how many were there well it was um, 80 randomly squares 80 randomly selected squares so we divide by 80 so 295 divided by 80 and we get 59 over 16 um, which is 59 over 16 so I might use that in a minute because I'm on the exact value 3. Point, oh it says to do some more places so 3.6875 so to 2dp 3.69 that's what they've asked for two decimal places 
Uh, so that's the mean. Then we want to work out the variance. Now, again, strictly speaking, because we are have got a sample, we should use this for the variance. Now, you'll see in the book they use this. OK, you're not going to lose marks if you use sigma squared. You're not going to lose marks here if you put mean. But just be aware they do have slight differences. So I'm going to use S squared. That's a proper way to do it. And that's going to be the sum of X squared. And I divide by N because I want the mean of that minus the mean squared. OK, so this is going to be uh, 1386. We were given this. over 80 minus the mean squared so I'm going to use the exact value this 59 over 16 and that needs to be squared so I can probably press answer squared when I work that out so my variance is the variance is in not standard deviation if it was we don't want to forget to um, square root it so I've got uh, 1386 over 80 minus answer squared and I get exactly 4771 over 1280. It's worth writing this down just in case I want an exact answer, uh, which is 3.727. I need the answer to uh, two decimal places, so that would be 3.73. 3.73. To two DP as they've requested. So that's part A then. All right, part B. Explain how the answers from part A support the, support the choice of uh, a Poisson distribution as a model. Now, in the past with Poisson, we've said okay, things happen at a constant rate. Um, they're independent. Um, uh, yeah, they happen at a mean rate in, in space or time, not in clusters. Uh, but they're asking us about part A now. In part A, we've just worked out the mean and the variance. Uh, and what do we know about the mean and the variance for a Poisson distribution where they're equal? They're very, very close. Yeah, we've got 3.69 here, and we've got 3.73. They're close, so this could be modelled by a Poisson distribution, not because of all the other stuff, but because of what we did in part A. That's the important thing. Look at your previous answer. What's that telling you? Okay, so I'd write down something like uh, since the mean, which is 3.69, and the variance which is 3.73 are very close uh, a Poisson distribution is a suitable model yeah because of what we know about a Poisson distribution and the fact that the mean um, the variance and the standard deviation uh, sorry uh, sorry uh, uh, and the variance are um, equal to the rate at which things happen right part C using a suitable value for lambda estimate the probability that f exactly three daily daisies will be found in a randomly selected square. Right, so let's have a look at our two numbers, 3.69 and 3.73. Now, suitable number would be 3.7 because they both agree to one decimal place. They don't agree to two decimal places, um, but one decimal place. So I'll, I'll put since uh the mean and the variance agree 
to 1 dp as 3.7, we're going to choose lambda as 3.7. That would be a sensible choice. So what have we got in this question then? So it's a Poisson distribution. Um, well, let's say, let's use x for the um, number of uh, daisies. I spelled it right, number of daisies. No, I haven't spelled it right. How comes I can't spell daisies? D-A-I-S-I-E-S, -I -E number of daisies in a randomly or in a square, doesn't have to be randomly selected, in a square. That's what X stands for. So X is a Poisson distribution where we're choosing the rate at which we find these daisies is 3.7. And we want to find the probability that we're going to find exactly three daisies. So this is menu seven. Scroll down to pass on PD. Remember, you could use the formula. You could use the tables. I'm just using the calculator. We're allowed to use the calculator. So use the calculator. X is three. And lambda is 3.7. And we end up with uh, 0 0.2087. And this is the 4DP. Right, you should now be able to do exercise 2e on page 31. So um, this is the main bit of information, but that lambda, the rate at which it's happened, is equal to the mean, is equal to the variance, what we call far x. Yeah, so there's our mean there. And here's our variance here. 